What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I'm gonna watch the latest Street Fighter 6 trailer, and it's gonna feature Ken Blanca. Is that how I pronounce that? I say Blanca in, in Swedish, Willem's favorite character. Uh, back there I have a Street Fighter 2, the original cabinet, he plays on it sometimes, and he loves uh, Blanca. I actually cheated, I have already watched this trailer, and Willem caught a glimpse of it, and he got so happy when he saw Blanca, he recognized him immediately. So can Blanca <laughs> Dalsim E, e Honda. Uh, so it's gonna be fun to watch this. And again, I already saw it, but I'm gonna make do some commentary on it today. But something I want to say straight up is that um, if you've watched my um, commentary on previous trailers for this game, and especially the Guile trailer, I've been like blown away by the visuals. I'm like, man, finally it looks like gritty. There's slightly more realism. The characters keep their, like, you know, Hulk Avengers proportions. I mean, uh, as muscular as Kazuya is, I mean, Ryu, his head is, like, twice as wide. I don't like the proportions, but I really like the visuals. And on, on a technical, from a technical standpoint, like, oh, finally high-resolution te facial textures and everything. Uh, the RE engine, it's looked really good. But I have to stress that... After having seen the goddamn Tekken 8 trailer, I don't know if it's just me, but when I saw that, I was like, I couldn't believe it was in-game graphics, and suddenly I feel like the Street Fighter 6 stuff, it might not look dated now, but I feel like when this game releases in like six months or something, I feel like it's already going to look a bit dated. If, uh, after we've seen more video footage from Tekken 8. I don't know, I just feel like Tekken 8 is so next-gen, focusing on the PlayStation 5 with, like, mind-blowing visuals to the point where Street Fighter 6, who wa that a game that was looking really good, suddenly I, I feel like it just doesn't look that amazing uh, anymore. But, you know, might just be me. Safety first, bud. Hmm? You my new recruit? Yeah. Gotta say, you're photogenic. Again, you can call me Luke. We're just coach. Oh, he's the co This is the free roaming mode, right? You get to customize your own hero. Oh god, I would love to voice a Street Fighter character at some point. Please, Capcom. A Puchish Maruken! Hush Pokken! Oh, that's what Willem saw, and he was so happy. Yay! Ah, uh, here we go. Showtime! Get into the ring! Don't expect me to be a pushover. So, again, I don't know if just it's, if it's just me. I really like Ken's outfit. The costume is great. Uh, reminds me a lot of Tekken 4 Paul, actually. A bit, like, rugged, down on his luck. Uh, really cool look. But, I don't know, his face... He, he, I don't know, it's something about the face just looks off to me. And I don't know if it's just me, again, but I'm like, I don't know, there's something about the face. And I think that Tatsu animation looks a bit dated as well. Uh, I don't know. Oh, 
But yeah, I love these super flashy sequences. That just looks great. I love the particle effects and what they do with uh, lighting. <laughs> nice. All right, and we have a goddamn Street Fighter ball mode, but we can't have it in Tekken for some reason. I like the paint effects and paint splats. It's it's super flashy. The supers are so good. They seem so cool in this game. Unbelievably cinematic. People are saying Dalsim will be S tier. Well, uh, judging from this trailer or... <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's not Street Fighter unless you can beat up on a poor car or truck. So cinematic, well animated, looks five times better than Street Fighter V, in my opinion. The costume redesigns, uh, the new proportions on the faces, bodies. Uh, from a technical standpoint, it's a gigantic upgrade. And I, the cinematic supers are mind-blowing. I think that's what sold me the most, almost, seeing... I love Guile's new face, his new look, and his, his super was just mind-blowing to watch. It's, it, it, it can't get more cinematic, in my opinion. But again, it still stands, what I said at the start. It's like, the game looks amazing, but it just seems like Tekken 8 is just pushing the boundaries more in terms of graphics and visuals, is what it seems like to me. But again, we've only had one trailer of Tekken 8, so th this could change. Uh, and I'm positive to everything I've seen here. I've applied for the closed beta for Street Fighter 6. I really hope I get it. That would mean I would get to try it in um, er pretty early October. Uh, that would be great. Uh, and Ken is a character I've, I've been looking to play. Uh, I think I would like to main him when I try Street Fighter 6. But I don't know, I find his face a little bit jarring. Uh, there's just something about it where I feel like he looked better in like Alpha 3 and Third Strike. Two games I uh, really, really enjoyed. And still are my favorite Street Fighter games. Street Fighter Alpha 3 and uh, Third Strike. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking really good. And I really hope for the best for uh, Street Fighter VI.